हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द थर्ड यूनिट ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट बेसिक्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द नेम ऑफ थर्ड यूनिट इज द बेसिक कंप्यूटर सिस्टम नाउ लेट स्टार्ट आवर टूडेज टॉपिक द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम द शेप साइज परफॉर्मन्स रिलायबिलिटी and cost of the computers have been changing year by year but the basic logical structure has not changed we know that the computers are reduced from very large size to very small size like our laptops palm tabs etc during this conversion their various parameters like shape cost are reduced in very big extent okay but the basic logical structure of the computer is not change it is same the let's see what is the basic structure of the computer system there are five units for converting the input data into useful information these five units are the input unit storage unit processing unit control unit and output unit here is the simple block diagram of basic computer system is shown in which this is the input unit this is the output unit this is memory unit and this is the cpu of the computer the cpu of the computer is also known as the brain of the computer and this brain that means cpu of the computer consists of control unit arithmetic and logic unit and some data registers in it let's see details about the basic computer system now in this there are two diagrams or two block diagrams which represents the basic computer organization we can draw any of this diagram the blocks in both diagram is same that means in this block diagram we can see here this is the processor that means cpu central processing unit which contains registers alu that means arithmetic and logic unit control unit and clock memory input output device and input output device second okay there are also the data bus address bus and control bus in this block diagram also we can see the same blocks that means this input unit output unit this is the cpu which consists control unit arithmetic and logic unit this is the storage unit which has the mainly two memories secondary storage and primary storage and these are connected with each other through the wires and these wires are known as the buses i hope you all understand the basic structure of the block diagram of the basic computer organization now let's see the first unit the input unit the input unit accepts or reads instruction and data from outside that means the input unit is used to feed data into the computer it converts these instructions and data in computer acceptable form for the examples of the inputs are keyboard mouse scanner etc it supplies the converted instructions and the data to the computer system for further processing that means in other words we can say that the input unit is the block of the computer system through which we can feed data into the computer and the input unit also performs the task of conversion the data which is acceptable computer form okay i hope you all understand the input unit of the computer organization now let's see the brain of the computer that means the central processing unit or cpu this is the cpu or this is the cpu the central processing unit or cpu consists of various blocks like the control unit like the arithmetic and logic unit and some data store registers okay let's see what is the control unit 
control unit. A control unit of a computer system manages and coordinates the operations of all other components of the computer system. The control unit compromise control memory, control unit register and sequential logic. That means the control unit has the parts control memory, control unit register and sequential logic circuit. That means in other words we can say that the control unit is used to control or to manage or to coordinate the various operations of all the other peripheral components of the computer system. That means it is used to control the operations in simple language. Okay. I hope you all understand the function of the control unit. Now let's see the second block of the central processing unit which is known as arithmetic and logic unit. As the name implies this block performs the operations like arithmetic and logical. Let's see ALU of a computer system is the place where the actual executions of the instruction takes place during the processing operation. The, op the execution of the instruction that means the operations are the ALU is used to perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division etc. and the logical operations such as logical AND, OR, XOR etc. Okay, That means the function of the AL unit is very simple to perform the arithmetic and logical operations like addition subtraction and logical AND, logical OR etc. Okay. Now let's see the ne next unit of the computer organization which is very important known as the storage unit that means the memory unit. This memory unit is further divided into two parts the primary storage and the secondary storage unit. Let's see first one the primary memory. The primary storage memory is volatile in nature that means it loses data when power dissipation that means when power is shut down or cut then all the data stored in this memory is losses okay hence it is known as volatile it is used to hold running program instructions data intermediate results and results of ongoing processing of jobs the second type of memory is the secondary memory and it is a non-volatile memory that means it retains data even without power that means if the power failure occurs or the shutdown occurs then the data in this memory is retained okay now it is used to hold the store program instructions and large volume of information that means we can see that there are two types of memory one is primary memory which is volatile in nature and secondary second one is secondary memory which is non-volatile in nature now let's see the next unit the output unit the output unit accepts the result produced by the cpu it converts this coded result to human acceptable forms it supplies the converted results to the outside world the example of the output unit is CRT, printer, monitor, our display, etc. That means the output unit gives the result produced by the CPU. And one more important thing is here that the result produced is human acceptable form. Okay. I hope you all understand the basic computer organization block diagram now let's see how these components or the peripherals are interconnected with each other these components or the hardware parts are interconnected with the help of these lines and we can say that these lines are the buses okay the buses now let's see what is bus a bus is set of conducting lines or paths which interconnects different parts of the computer system and are responsible for carrying out different types of information. 
that means the bus is used to interconnect all the hardware part to each other depending upon the type of information being carried bus can be of three type address bus data bus and control bus Dep as per name implies the address bus carries the address of the memory location data bus carries the data and the control bus carries the control signal in next video we are going to see the full details about this concept of bus i hope now you all understand the basics computer organization thank you